probably one of the more fun videos I've been waiting for. I've got my exhaust cutout diverter there, two meters of three inch there, a 180 degree three inch mandrel bend as well. Hello. Hola. Lola, hello. Hello. Oh mate, that's nice. It's cozy, isn't it? Yeah, it's cool. It's just cozy. Has it worked to be too fucking shiny or nothing? So that's my mate Gideon's T4. It's a uh, twin turbo Supra in here at the moment. Looks smart. Right, so here we've got the three quarter inch BSPT and that's gonna be tapped into the inlet manifold for the Mark II idle control valve. So the downpipe's gonna be blended in from there. So we're gonna take this kink out, come straight down. So we're then gonna move over here. This is where it necks right down, where it's been quite restrictive. So I think it goes down to maybe like a two and a quarter inch here for the cat. So the cat's gonna be moved further downstream another time. And we're just gonna have three inch all the way down here with the cut out here and a side exit coming out that way. But Ed's the man, so he's gonna work on it for me now. It goes down to about two inches through the cat, which is tiny. Compare that to the three inch, it's a massive difference. So here's a diverter that's going in its place. You can see there the kink that we're gonna be removing. Pipe's just gonna go that way. One of the big things that's always been bothering me is that in here, we've got restrictions to the flow and there was also another one that was just a blank and it wasn't being used. There, look, so. And there we go. So my old catalytic converter has blown itself out completely because there's nothing in here. And check the rest of the exhaust, it's not there, which means that the whole thing has blown itself out. But that's tiny, look at how small that is there, it's about two inches. So Ed's still working away there, doing a great job. And this is the new downpipe and uh, front section with the cutout. It goes into the two and a half system here, so it's just been flared a bit there so that we can get a match up. And when this opens, of course, we're gonna have very low back pressure to let all of the gas out. Catalytic converter's gonna go in there after here, so I've got my road system, and then I've got my track system and drag system here, which is uh, gonna be pretty cool. So yeah. Time's cracking on now, it's a bit later. It's now nearly half past seven, but Ed's kindly stayed on to get the job done, which I really appreciate. So yeah, lovely little sunset over there. So I don't think we're that far from getting done now. We've still got to do the manifold, but that's gonna be a damn sight easier job than what we've been doing here, so. Here's the old downpipe, and there's the old kink. But now we've got a decent section, it's all been lined up.
Okay, now again. 